what's going on guys welcome back to the channel if you've seen any of my shorts recently you'll know that i finally got my b1 battery in so we're finally going from 48 volt up to 72 volts we're going from 3 kilowatts all the way up to 7 kilowatts now just a disclaimer um, you're only going to want to run yours at 5 kilowatts after that you're going to void the motor warranty so be sure to know that if you turn that thing up you're doing that at your own risk of course I'm gonna turn it up we're gonna be testing this motor out doing a bunch of ride videos finally tuning up the far driver for you guys that'll be in a separate video so let's check it out so as you can see we got our bomb moto b1 battery um, so you're going to get the 72 volt it is a 30 amp hour at 100 amp discharge max continuous we have our this is all going to come with it. We have our XT90 battery leads, so this will plug right into our controller, screw in I should say. We are going to have this adapter piece right here. Um, I have it charging right now, but you can see we have an XT60 charge and an XT90, which is going to match our XT90 right here. And then on the stock bike, actually have a charge port right here and it's going to come down into I'm sure you guys know me by now I like to change all my connectors but it'll have this opposite side connector right here so you'll be able to plug that in just like so plug that into your battery and then from there you can charge from I can't I think these are XLR ports I'm not 100% sure but your three prong which is on the end of your charger right here so i got mine sitting on the charger at the moment but you're going to have a 72 volt uh, 5 amp charger and i believe so max charge current is 10 amps hopefully you can see that all right as you can see we got a nice uh, black stainless steel case all sealed up looking sexy as hell and then you can see it is shaped to go into the b1 chassis now when you get your B1, um, you're not gonna have this. I'll go over this here in just a second. In fact, let me take this out real quick. And it's out, just like magic. So as you can see, uh, we have this little itty bitty space right here that was designed for a small 60 volt battery with you know a generic uh, controller, all that good stuff. But Bomb went a different route and they brought us these chassis for us to build on. So the tray isn't going to be an exact fit for this big old battery right here. Um, so you're going to have to get creative. Now I do sell a battery tray. Uh, this one's a little bit used and abused. This is one of my first products, but it's been holding up great. Um, these do come in black. That way it'll match uh, nice with your B1. You won't even be able to see it. So if you guys do want one of those, hit me up. It helps support the channel. Any of the funding made goes back into parts and all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description for my Facebook or Instagram so you can shoot me a message and I'll get, get one shipped out to you. Uh, but basically, you just gotta get creative. You know, the box will come with a bunch of foam padding that you can stick in here. Um, I mean, if you got a piece of plywood you can cut down. You know, anything, get creative. Uh, because the battery is a little too wide and it'll sit on these lips right here leaving an empty space underneath so not a very solid platform to set the battery on which is why I created this so this will just go right in here press fit down right in there and now we got a nice flat surface to sit on so let me go ahead and throw the camera on the tripod real quick and I'll show you how easy it is to slide this guy right in there. Oop, jumped the gun a little bit there. So I uh, want to show you guys what I'll be using to strap the battery down. Um, now this was local to me at a Michaels. It is 3 quarter inch by 12 foot of Velcro strap. Um, now you can get some 1 inch by 30 foot off of Amazon for I think it's like 12 bucks or something like that. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. So this will be perfect to go around the existing uh, little strap loops right there. So you got one right here, one right there, one right there, one right there. So that way we can strap down on both sides. 
Now, another thing I'm going to be doing is taking these Velcro command strips and I'm going to be placing uh, probably one or two on each side and then put the opposing side down underneath the battery. So that way when I set the battery in there, it'll Velcro strap straight to this. We'll get our straps around it and that way it'll be held down from moving up and down and it'll also be held down with these from moving side to side. Cool deal. So let me get these put into place, get them underneath the battery, and then I'll show you how to stuff this thing in here. So I have my command strips with my little Velcro thingies stuck on the outside. I'm going to go ahead and peel the stickers so that way once I set it down it'll stick. And then I have my Velcro straps ready to go. And then once I lay my battery down I'll make sure the stickies come out on the outside of these. Then I'll go ahead and strap it all down and we'll get it in. So hopefully I got you at a good angle. So we're going to go ahead and get the battery ready. Get these stickies all peeled off real quick. All right. So as you can see, we have the angled edge facing forward and then the flat edge facing towards the motor itself. I'm going to go ahead and stick my hand through the other side. Go ahead, slide it on in just like so. And we set it down. Let our sticky set. And then from here, we can take our, get all this stuff out of the way, take our Velcro straps, and align it all the way around, just like so. Get all this stuff out of my way and if you want to make this a little bit easier of course you can take the top plastics off but uh, I take stuff on and off so much that I just can't do it all right I'm gonna strap this down nice and tight just like so Looks like I cut a little too much, no big deal. And then we'll go ahead and do that with the other side as well. We're going to stop ourselves from moving up and side to side. Alright guys, so against my will I went ahead and took the plastics off just so I could show you the battery in here. As you can see, it's completely solid, ain't going nowhere. Uh, but I also wanted to mention that the 72450 I have here all these routed through real quick. Obviously I'll have to tidy it all up. But as you can see we're fitting in here nice and good. Um, and I'm actually thinking that I can use the rest of this roll here to kind of prop this up in here as well. So I think this stuff would be a really good investment. Um, I already got a little bit right here tidying up some of my light harness. But uh, yeah so let me go ahead and tidy this up a little bit more and strap the controller down. I already have my XT90s thrown into the controller. And then uh, I guess we'll go for a little ride. Damn guys, everything's fitting beautifully. So we got a 30 amp hour battery, 72 volt of course, with a far driver 72 450, which is way overkill for what we need. We have a 72 volt down to 12 volt reducer. We got a fuse panel. Oh uh, geez, we got headlight, tail light, uh, full harness running through here. I mean, this thing absolutely packed with all sorts of stuff. And as you can see, plastics fit perfectly, just like that. And then of course, I went ahead and threw on my adapter for the charger. So we'll go ahead, show you guys real quick. And then of course, always make sure you line up that notch with the notch on the inside right there. Pop that in real quick. See we're charging. Nice, easy, and convenient. Go ahead and pop that out real quick. Solid. So let me go ahead and slap the seat on and we'll go take it for our first little rip. Alright you guys, we're ripping now. It's my first time being on 72 volt on the bomb moto. 
72 450 from Far Driver. This thing absolutely pulls. It definitely feels uh, very similar to my QS swapped Mototech. Um, that was running a little bit more, it was running 8 kilowatts. Um, of course, the battery was absolutely struggling to keep up. <clears throat> But this thing is nasty. Let's go take it to our ripping spot. Sorry for the wind noise if there is any. And it's been a while since we've done this. I haven't been doing it a lot because, uh, you know, the cops are just cracking down left and right everywhere. So it's no fun being sketched out trying to ride around enjoying myself when all it takes is one cop to come over and ruin everything. Yeah guys, let's talk about this battery. I mean, 850 bucks plus shipping, 72 volt, 30 amp hour here in the States. Um, you know, obviously they're a new company, so they gotta get their stock up and, you know, establish themselves, but obviously they're gonna have these things here in the States ready to ship. Grab one with your bike. Dang, we're already hitting 44. I'm gonna have to pull out the uh, GPS, see if my thing is accurate. They just paved the old street. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, man, super nice battery to get in the States. Fully enclosed in steel, stainless steel. Um, you know, it's all ready to go. Obviously, if you grab uh, one of my trays, you could drop it in there nice and smooth. So hit me up if you do want to get one of those. Okay. All right, we're going to leave that on. Let's see. Here, I'll shove it right here. Seems like it's holding us pretty steady. Oh, she pulls! It's holding steady at 40. Oh, a little more. Pretty accurate so far. Let's keep her ripping. Now, I haven't messed with my weakening settings or anything since 48 volt. So, right now, 49 almost 50 miles an hour GPS is holding up good. So that means my DKD display tune is perfect um, Obviously, this is a crappy GPS. So, you know, my speed not might not be the most accurate uh, Compared to like a draggy or something but Look how quick this thing gets up to here Yeah, we're at 100 amps, so we're looking at 7 kilowatts. Um, also, as you can see, we're at 75 volts, so we are far from a full charge. And uh, if I dial in the, um, uh, the ratios and speed, get the weakening nice and dialed in, I think we could easily hit over 50. Nice full battery. Oh, it's nice and cool out today too. But yeah, guys, look forward to the tuning video. I'll have that out here. Uh, hopefully next week we'll take it to the stunt lot. You know, obviously um, it's a whole lot more power with the foot brake, so I'm kind of a little sketched out learning wheelies on this. Looks like we're pretty maxed out right there, 48, 49. But not bad for a quick 
throw on tune from the 48 volts. Yeah, guys, this battery, 100% worth it. 100%. I love the way it looks. Obviously, I'm loving the way this thing feels. Um, you know, if you're looking for like future proof battery this this really ain't gonna be it at 100 amps continuous you know if you want to be able to swap the the battery into something else you know um you know obviously you're gonna have to grab a battery with a different cell type that way you can run more amps out of it um but at 100 amps and 30 amp hour i imagine this thing is gonna last for a while i don't think my butt's gonna be able to handle it uh, there's been a few of you asking me to do a range test. Um, I will try. I can't make any promises. Like I said, it's just so sketchy these days with the cops. You know, I put all this work into this thing. Last thing I need to do is get it impounded. Uh, so it's a real pain in the butt. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and record a graph page for you. Oh, oh what do I do? Oh, oh. Get some screen record on and start recording. So we'll go ahead and overlay that on the video right now. Let's go full tuck. Yeah, I can definitely feel the weakening kicking it. It's like holding it back because it's trying to throw too much at it at once. Also, guys, this thing is extremely stable. Like, holy cow. Like, I can feel it in the bars. This thing just wants to go straight. It's crazy. I'm sure uh, having the street tires, you know, have a lot to do with that being nice and smooth. Of course, it's got the foot brake that's got a ton of stopping power. Oh yeah, guys. I'm an idiot. I forgot to connect to the controller, so let's try that again. Now we're recording. So it looks like we are getting about, uh, I didn't look before we started, um, five, six, seven, about seven volts of uh, voltage drop, voltage shag, I should say, which isn't terrible considering that, you know, I'm pushing the whole 100 amps continuous. Say it's probably a little less than seven, honestly. Getting about 6,100 RPMs, not bad at all. You know, these motors aren't meant to spin crazy, crazy high RPMs, so you know, don't expect uh, to get these crazy top speeds out of it. You know, you can later on once we figure out where sprocket options are going to come from. We could gear it down, kind of like the Razors with the MY1020. But the nice part about this motor is it's got so much torque and it's already hitting 50 the way it's geared right now. And I believe it's like a right around 7 to 1 gear ratio, which is pretty insane. I mean, the Razor guys are doing like 1480 or something like that. They're going like under 7 to 1 ratio which is super tall, so it's robbing a ton of torque. You know, I figure if we go um, up a couple teeth on this, let's go from like 11 to a 12 or 13, you know, we could possibly hit that 60 mile per hour mark. Uh, you know, I'm not a big top speed kind of guy. I, I could really care less how fast it goes in the long run. Uh, my biggest concern is the torque. Am I gonna get stuck in that soft sand? Um, am I going to make it up that big hill without the motor bogging out? You know, 
and I'm gonna be putting this thing to the test with that here very shortly now that we have the 72 volt in um, you know and that's that's my main concern I know there's a lot you know the first question asked is how fast is it well I mean it's pretty quick <laughs> to be honest with you for 850 bucks you're getting this nice rolling chassis with a beefy motor that can do this I mean you can't really ask for more you know it's got some imperfections and bomb is doing a hell of a job addressing these issues and uh you know he's trying to make this bike as bulletproof I should say they are trying to make this bike as bulletproof as possible for you guys while trying to keep it low price you know if he starts making big changes uh the prices are gonna go up so i mean you just you guys gotta realize this is a diy bike it is a rolling chassis super cheap for you to buy so you know if you're not liking some things change them out you know it's you gotta you gotta put in a little bit of work um you know if you're just a street cruiser you might not have to do too much to it you know, like i love the suspension setup on it it's nice and cushy still solid but uh yeah guys this battery this battery is awesome man loving every bit of this can't wait to get out do some more rides show you guys what it can do most importantly start hitting some wheelies on this thing i got lots of practice to do so don't yell at me yet oh man i think i was in mode three of those this whole time Yeah, okay, I was. Gotta get past this car real quick. Just turn on our headlight. Probably blinding the hell out of these people. Excuse me. hand signals all right we'll hit a little wheel ski see what I can do put it down in mode 2 because I'm scared <laughs> Not too bad, foot down, so I mean, I'm kind of cheating. So we're getting 35 maxed out. What did it mow through? Oh, it just starts pulling. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, they love it. Alright guys, it's starting to get later. Running out of light here so i'm gonna head back hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sure i missed some points so if you have any questions leave a comment down below and i'll get to you all right guys till next time peace